temperature of 82 degrees occurred at 4.38 p.m. The normal high is 78. The record high is 98 degrees, which was set the in... Buffing UV-17 Pro GPS. We're going to try and get some airband here. Let me switch over to airband. I know it's hard to see, but I'm outside here. Just having coffee and uh, just chilling. Enjoying the morning. I thought I'd do a little radio test here. See if I can get some... Uh, um, airband clips for you guys. So you just hit menu and you can go into your banks. There it says bank. And my airband frequencies are in bank two. Okay, hit exit. All right. We should be hearing some airband frequencies. This thing is incredible, you guys. This is the radio that you want to get as far as HT I know it's hard to see um, as far as say uh, inexpensive HT that does airband receive this one receives better than uh, these other ones that I have the Quan chain uh, even the other bow fangs uh, We'll try and get a few good samples of uh, uh, air traffic here, but what I want to explain is that this one does a heck of a lot better. The other, the Quan Chain, even the new K6 uh, from Baofeng, I still have a, a review to do on that one. But I've done some airband tests on that, and it's it's like. Uh, A, it's like FM, a, a, there, it's trying to, you have an FM receiver trying to interpret and translate AM frequency. Uh, different modulation, you guys. So that's why you get distorted signals. This one seems to have, and I don't remember where I got this information from, but I said it in the, one of my previous videos. This thing has a true AM receiver in it. There, and I haven't pulled it apart, so I don't know. Maybe somebody can do that. Pull this thing apart and check it out, see if they got an AM receiver chip in there. But uh, this one actually works well. I'm getting two airports here, one about 30 miles, one about 15, and it's coming in real good. Hopefully we'll get some uh, traffic here. <clears throat> but I love the banks option, the memory banks. Uh, the AM reception is good. The battery life is good on this thing. For the price of this thing, you guys. <clears throat> and I paired it with this uh, T-Way RDIO T-Way radio. RH660 telescoping whip pairs perfectly and this is the uh, all right just take this real quick here this is the antenna that you want for this thing right so yeah that's really all this video is about trying to get some clips here let me pause this, and, and we'll try and get a few in a, in a line here. I'd like to climb to 7,500. Uh, yeah, it's great. That's so clear. Do have the weather at Coeur d'Alene. Thank you. 662712. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's get another one. Power there. So it's receiving on uh, the upper area and lower area, back and forth. Both are different. Yeah, you guys.
Make sure you get the big antenna with it. Yeah, you can you can get these signals with the stuff. Seven six eight kilo. I was kind of waiting for that handoff. But I get a lot better performance with this antenna. That, thank you. Thank you. So let's go take a look at that real quick. So here is the antenna collapsed. You guys. Um. It's a telescoping whip. That's what you want right there. T-Way radio. If it's going to focus for me. I'll leave a link in the description. But let's get this thing extended here. And you can see this thing's like a old TV radial so yeah it's crazy it's um shoot i don't know how long it is three feet long something like that and uh yeah just use that with your bow fang you guys you're gonna have you're gonna have success with this one on am and any other frequencies for that matter so that all right, that's where I'm going to leave it, you guys. Appreciate you. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe. I'm trying to get up there to uh, 2,000 subscribers. So, appreciate you guys. You take care.